सर्वेभ्यो नमस्काराः अद्य सिद्धान्तकौमुद्याः कारकप्रकरणे प्रथमः पाठः एप्रिल मासस्य द्वाविंशः दिनाङ्कः एनाक्षरसमाम्नायमधिगम्य महेश्वरात्तं व्याकरणं प्रोक्तं तस्मै पाणिनये नमः वाक्यकारं वररुचिं भाष्यकारं पतञ्जलिं पाणिनिं सूत्रकारं च प्रणतोस्मिमुनित्रयं मुनित्रयं नमस्कृत्य तदृक्ति परिभाव्य च वैयाकरणसिद्धान्तकौमुदीयं विरच्यते So we are starting with a new prakarana today, which is Karaka prakarana. Okay. So we have dealt with, say, if you look at the um, construction of the Siddhanta Kaumudi, we started with the Samyan Paribhasha, which are the basic. And then we studied the Subantas, how to, well, words in uh, any Vakya are only of two kinds, what is a Subanta and a Tingarta. So now basically, Theoretically, we know all about Subantas, though we don't know, like say, one step behind the Subantas. I mean, Subantas are created from Kludantas or Pratita or Samasa. That is how we get the Pratiparika. But once we get that Pratiparika, we know how to decline any kind of Subanta. We know that if there is a requirement of a Strilinga, how to add a Pratya and to convert it into a Strilinga and then decline it, we know what to do with our Vyayas. So basically, all that part has been covered. Now he goes into Karakas, where we are dealing not with words but with sentences. You see, a sentence is actually the ultimate thing in grammar. I mean, not in grammar, but say in a sen uh, in Gavahara, in a language, it is actually not the words which make sense, but the sentence. That is what, like, it is. Uh, say, we are just talking about Vakyapadiya of uh, Bhattrahari, and. Uh, this is what he says in the Brahmakanda itself. Padena varna vidyante varneshva vayavana cha vakyat padana matyantam pradiveko nakinchana. He says it is the vakya as a, as a unit, as, an, as a complete unit which makes sense. There is no, there is pada and, you see, there is padena varna vidyante. In the pada, in this particular case, varna refers to the parts of a pada, like you have prakriti and pratyaya. So he says, actually, when you go and look at it, ultimately, there is no distinction of Prakriti Pratyaya. Say, uh, you should know that the Prakriti Pratyaya is all Kalpita. That is an accepted theory. It was uh, imagined or created, the Vyavastha was created by Panini to bring in some coherence. Say, it need not be Su Pratyaya. It need only Rama and Su. If you say, see some other school of Vyakarana, the Pratyaya could all as well be just s or it could be us or something. So the pratyaya is not fixed. The only thing that is fixed is actually Ramaha. So pade na varna vidyante varneshu avayavana cha. And even in that prakriti pratyaya there are no further uh, split or uh, what they call the, uh, there are no separate parts in each of those parts, sub parts. Vakyat padanam atyantam pravivekaha nakinchana. And in a sentence, actually the splitting of words is also not uh, there in reality. That is what he says. Pravivekaha, that is knowing the different parts of the pada, is also not there. So he says it is vakya which matters. Okay. So vakya padiyam itself is named after. There is vakya and there is pada. So both of these things are actually there in loka. Even though the prakriti pratyaya might not be, might be only at the shastriya pada, we have padas that are different words in actual usage and there is the sentence. But the sentence is definitely much more important than the word because, I mean, the same word could mean different things in different contexts. That is what we call the context. Words don't make sense without a context. If I just say Ramaha, you cannot say what it means. You will not know if it is the subject, if it is the object, if it is just the Pratipadikartha. You cannot even tell if it is a Subanta or a Tingantha. Because Ramaha, okay, the famous thing is Ramaha is Rama. Akaranta Pratipadika Prathamayaka Vachana. But there is also a Dhatu called Ra. So like you have Pathami, Pathavaha, Pathamaha, it could be Rami, Ravaha, Ramaha. So how do you know? If I just say Ramaha, it actually makes no sense. Unless you are using it in a sentence and in the context, it will not give the sense. Therefore, it is the vakya which is the ultimate entity in grammar and in usage. 
So similarly, Sangraha. Sangraha is actually a grantha which we have lost today. The, it is mentioned in the Mahabhashya. There is a Lakshya Shloka, apparently it was a, a written by a person called Vyadi. It uh, preceded the Mahabhashya. It was uh, after Panini, of course, but then it was uh, Mahabhashya Gara quotes it, but it is not available to us. We have no, no idea what it was there. We only have some quotations coming over from the Sangraha. Nahikinchit padam nama rupena niyatam kvachit padanam rupa marthova vakyartha deva jayate. That is what he says. Nahikinchit padam nama rupena niyatam kvachit. So, whether the type, the nama, that is where we are labeling the pada as seven subanta or tinganta or anything, or the rupa, the forms that they stay, naniyatam, it is not fixed anywhere. Nahikinchit padam nama rupena niyatam kvachit padanam rupa marthova vakyartha deva jayate. Whether it is the form of which word to use or the meaning of the word, you can know it only by the vakyartha, which says sentence, which context are you going to use it and what should be the form there. That is all you can say. You can never say that these are fixed forms. Right. So again, if you come to the Paramalabha Manjusha, where we have this concept called Sphota. Okay. Sphota is again one of the say unique uh, things of the grammar as a philosophy. Okay. This was again developed first in the Vakya Padiya. How do we get the meaning out of a word? When you hear a word, what is it? that gives the meaning and so on, where we have something called Vakya Sphota. Sphota, sphota is that which uh, clears the meaning. Sphutyate artha anena it is Sphota. So there, there are again they say different kinds of uh, Sphotas, where there are theories saying okay, there are, it is the word which conveys the meaning, it is the Prakriti and Pratya individually which convey the meaning, it is the sentence which conveys the meaning and so on. There are eight different kinds of Sphotas. There he says, Tatra Vakya Sphotaha Mukhyaha, the main kind of the uh, best kind of it is the Vakya Sphota. Why? Tasyaiva Loke Artha Bodha Tattvad. Loke, in actual usage, Tasyaiva Artha, the Vakya Sayiva Artha Bodha Tattvam. It is only the Vakya which conveys meaning. Tenaiva Artha Samapteshta, that is not just meaning, the complete meaning. So individual words will make sense, of course, we all know it, but artha samaptihi, a complete meaning of any situation of, or the vivaksha can be only with a vakya and not with single individual words. That is why vakya is extremely important in, in usage and therefore whatever is important in usage will be important in grammar. So what is a vakya? Vakyam nama kim? What do you think? What is a Vakya? Any different definitions? How can you define a Vakya? Unmuted. Anybody? Uh, it says Akyayatam sa avyayakara visheshena Vakyam. That is given by Vakya Kara. Akyatam sa avyayakara visheshena Vakyam. And the most popular is Ekating Vakyam. That's the more popular ah. definition. So that is again from the what we call the Mahabhashya it is quoted often, ekating vakyam, that is anything with one muted as a vakya. And again there is a different way of putting it, akhyatam as again kriyapadam, savyaya karaka visheshanam, with avyaya karaka or visheshana will make a vakya and so on. So that is our way of putting it. If you look at how others put it, vakyam nam, padasamuha vakyam, if you go to tarka, they say padasamuha vakyam. A group of words as a sentence. You have words, you put them together and you form a sentence. Right. So, then the question, there is some coming together of random words. So, you have a list of Pratipalikas, Gaurashwa, Purusha, Hasti and so on. So, is it a Vakya? Even there, I mean, even Pratipalikas will not accept it as a Vakya. Why? They say, Artha Samaptav. They add the word point, Artha Spari Samapti. So, if it convey the complete meaning it is a vakya. But how we define it? Devashaka Rai says ekating vakyam. That which has one kriyapada. That is even a kriyapada itself can make a sentence. Say agacha. Tvam agacha iti adhyahriyata into vakyam. But only navapadas cannot make a vakya. It is with ekating vakyam. 
So, Sarveshu Akkeshu, whatever you have, Kriyapadam, Bhavedeva, Adhyaharaha, Atava Sakshat. You hear it directly or even otherwise it is there. Okay. So, we have it by Adhyahara. Karakanvita Kriya Vakyam. So, just like it said, Sangriya Karaka Visheshana. So, they say Visheshanas also have Karakas. I mean, whatever is the Karaka Sambandha for the main thing, it will also be there for the Visheshana as well. Right? So, this is one more definition, how they define it. It's Karakanvita Kriya Vakyam. Kriya is uh, an action which is associated with Karakas, is Vakya. So, a Vakya has uh, kriya and it has karakas. What is a karaka? You have all studied, I mean, I'm sure at any some basic grammar level you'll have no vakya. Karaka. What is a karaka? Anybody? Because I mean this uh, the sutra, what is a karaka itself is a very big discussion in the Mahabharata. What is a karaka? Anybody? I mean, just a basic thing. I mean, what is it? Yes. Uh, Ajay Rama, I have unmuted you, but I think you have muted yourself. So you can unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can, please. Uh, yeah, uh, anything that conve conveys more about the action of Riyapada is a Karaka. Okay, so a Karaka is something that conveys more about the Kriyapada. So, Ravarma also says that a word that conveys something about the verb. Okay. Uh, Kriya Anmai Karakam is one more thing that Nehemiah uh, says. That which is uh, associated with the Kriya. Kriya Anvayam Prapnu. So, that is the basic definition which gives. Yet Kriya Anvayi Tat Karakam. That which has is related to Kriya is Karakam. Actually, a Parishkrita Yat Vakye Kriya Saha Anabhita Anvaya. Right. So, that is also there. Anabhita is a very important uh, concept there. Uh, Vakya kriyaya saha yat anvayam praptoti. Anvayaha nama sambandhaha tat karakam. Anything that is directly associated with the kriya is karaka. But there is also, okay, this is a level 1 definition. They actually do it to kriya janakam karakam. Anything that helps the kriya to happen is karaka. Okay, kriya janakam karakam is uh, the uh, siddhanta. Karoti iti karakam. How is the word karaka? Karoti. That with makes the kriya happen. Kim karoti, kriyam karoti, that utpadayati, that which brings about action, anything which brings about the kriya is called a karaka. So, pachaka pachati. So, where the pachaka is associated with the paka kriya, because he is the one who is actually doing the kriya. Gam sprishati. So, a, say a boy is touching the cow, the cow is involved in the action by being the object of Parashuna chinati. So he cuts a tree with say an axe. So the axe is involved in the action, the cutting, by being the instrument of action. Yachakaya dadati. He gives to the person who asks, or the beggar. So the beggar is a part of the action by being there to receive the thing which is given. I mean, in, in case of Dadati, there cannot be giving unless there is somebody to receive. So he is involved in the action. Prasadat Patati falls from the Prasada. Prasada is uh, the, say, the terrace. Or the, that part. So there, again, the terrace is involved in action because that was where from the balcony. Okay. So there, that was where uh, there is separation from the patana involves separation from a place and falling to a different place. So it is the origin of that patana. Pite Upavishati. He sits in the chair. 
or in the seat. So the seat is involved in the action by providing an adhara uh, substratum for the action. You can see there are different ways in which a dravya can be associated with kriya. So karaka is a dravya, it is associated with a kriya in different ways. All these are called karakas. Kriya yad anmayam prapnoti tat karakam. You can see again this is uh, how they put it. There is one sentence. So Ayodhyaya Haraja Gangati Re Hastaya Hastena Vipraya Voshkar Gam Dadati. This is a vakya that you can see Raja Dadati. So the king gives. Gam Dadati. He gives a cow. Goshthat Gam Dadati. He gives from his uh, shed. Vipraya Dadati. He gives to the Brahmin. Hastena Dadati. By his hand. Gangati Re. On the banks of the Ganga. All these words in blue are directly associated with the Kriya in some way. Some way and therefore they are all Karakas. Whereas you have this Ayodhyaya. Ha. Ayodhyaya ha Raja. The king of Ayodhya. Ayodhya is not involved in the Kriya in any way, in any way, because it is not, I mean, he is not giving it in Ayodhya. He might give it anywhere in the world. So it is not involved in the Kriya in any way and therefore this is not a Karaka. So the famous thing is Sambandha or Shristi Bhakti Hina Karakam is because of this. The Sambandha is with a, a noun and not with the verb. So it is uh, the Shashti indicates Sambandha relation and the relation there is with the noun and not with the verb. So anything which is directly associated or related to the verb in a sentence is a Karaka. How many Karakas? I am sure everybody knows this. Kati Karakani Bhavanti. Um, shat Karakani. Right? So there are six Karakas which we have Karakam Shodha Vibhajate. Karta Karma Chakaranam Sampradhanam Tathaivacha Aparana Adhikaranam Ityahu Karakani Shat. So there are six Karakas. Kartal Karakam, the subject of action. Karma Karakam, the object. Karana Karakam, the instrument. Sampradana Karakam, the receiver of say something which is given. Apadana Karakam, the point of separation. Adhikarana Karakam, the location or the substratum. These are the six Karakas or the six kinds of relations which are possible between a Dravya and a Kriya. So Karaka is basically a relation. Karaka Shakti is a relation between your dravya and the kriya and it can be of six kinds. So katra karakam, balaha sadati. So there are some examples, I mean, these are all basic. Svaya kutra gamyate, radhaya krishna hadrishyate, everything which is into it is a katra karaka. As you can see, there is a difference between karaka and vibhakti. Okay, so that is why I have made these, it is not just to say that the Karaka and uh, a Vibhakti are different. There could also be some more uh, add here like uh, say Krishna Svikrutihi and so on. Where the same Karaka, it is all Kartra Karaka but it can be in different Vibhaktis. There is Rathama, there is Krutiya and there is Shashti. Okay. So there is a clear distinction between Karaka and Vibhakti. Right. So again if you have Karma Karaka, Pachaka Tandulam Pachati, Bhaktaha Harim Bhajati Phalam Khadati Chitram Likhate where Chitram is Prathama Vibhakti Phalam is Vitiya Vibhakti So Tvaya Kada Mama Griham Agam Vete So Griha is again Prathama Vibhakti and so on So we have Karana Karaka Vanena Ravanam Hanti Parashuna Vruksham Chinati Lekhanya Likhami Adabhyam Gaham Gamyate, Kena Vahanena Agamyate. So all these we see are the Kriya Bhakti but it can also be told by some other things. 
So, Sampradana Karaka. Malakaya Dadati. So, Sampradana is for Pradana itself. So, and then you have Apadana. Rukshat Paranam Patati. Gokulad Agachati. Parvata Davarohati. So, on. so, these are all these. Tate Upavishati. Thalyam Pachati. Humo Nivasamaha. Tileshu. The red should be in Tileshu and not in. Thailam. Tileshu is the Adhikarana, not Thailam. So as you can see, there are six different kinds of Tarakas. What is a Vibhakti? As I said, there is a difference between Taraka and Vibhakti. What is a Vibhakti? Unmuted. You see the thing from the triads of Ah, uh, that's the okay, so pratyaya we add. That's the pratyaya we add from. Okay, so the pratyaya, which pratyaya? To add it uh, for which this thing is the vibhakti. So, suo just. Okay. Suo just. Okay, so pratyaya suo just are called vibhaktis. The forms of the nouns, the declension. Okay. So any other uh, definitions of vibhakti? What? How does Parani define Vibhakti? You have already seen this long ago. What does? The Vibhakti is a Samya. Okay, and Parani defines it. How does, what does he define it as? Vibhakti is that which distinguishes the Karakas in a sentence. Hmm. Okay, I mean correct, but uh, what is uh, the grammatical definition of a vibhakti? Anybody remembers? <laughs> Sutra, okay. Is vibhakti shta. Okay. Well, that is how he defines. But what? What does the what is the sutra artha? Because just in the first Krishna we know nothing because there is anubhati. So tingau vibhakti samyau staha. The sup pratyas and the thing pratyas are called vibhakti by Vipan initially. He uh, defines both the truth and thing as vibhakti. But the thing vibhakti is more popularly called as muted. Okay. Pratama Purusha, Madhyama Purusha and Uttama Purusha is a Vyavahara. Panini has not uh, defined Purusha. He does not even say Purusha. He says this Prathamaha, Madhyamaha, Uttamaha. But the Purusha is from other uh, uh, traditions and it is accepted. Because of that, Subhivaktayaha eva vibhakti shabdena grihyante. So generally we take the Subhivaktis, that is the Su Aujas as Vibhaktis. But actually, you should always remember that according to uh, the actual definition, both soup and thing, the pratyaya is vibhakti. Okay? Vibhakti is the pratyaya. And that is why we call it as the vibhaktyanta. So, ramaha iti prathama vibhaktyantam. So, it is ending in the prathama vibhakti ekavachana pratyaya. So, vibhakti is the pratyaya. The soup pratyayas are called vibhakti. Vibhaktyate, yeah, that which separates it is vibhakti. That is correct. So as the Kalapan says, the Yutpati is that, that which distinguishes Vibhakti. So, Su Aujas Ityadi Nam Trikanam Prathamadayaha Saptam Yantaha Pacham Samyaha Tavihi Ihavi Vivaharaha. This is again from the Kaumudi when he deals with Vibhakti in Ajanta Prakarana, he says this. So he says, Su Aujas. So the sets of three. Suaujas so, Amaushas, they are called, so Suaujas so, is called Prathama Vibhakti. Am Aushas is called Dhritya Vibhakti. Prathama Dayaha Saptam Vintaha Pracham Samyaha. Again, Panini has not defined them, he has borrowed it from his previous uh, So, that is what we also use. Now, Vibhakti Pravrita, as you can see, Vibhakti is different from Karaka. A Vibhakti is assigned to a word based on several things. One of the nimittas for Vibhakti Pravati is Karaka. 
So based on karaka, a vibhakti is assigned. Okay, say for example, vibhakti nam pravrattau bahuni nimittani bhavita marahanti. There are se the several different things which can lead to a particular vibhakti and the most important of it is karaka. Karakam puraskate vibhakti. So there are vibhakti which is uh, set based on the karaka. For example, Ramaha Manam Gachati. So, Karma Karaka Nimitthena Manashabdha Se Dhritiya Vibhakti. It says Karmani Dhritiya. So, a Karma Karaka, that is Anabhihite. So, Karma Karaka will get Dhritiya Vibhakti. Vrikshad Paranam Patati. So, Apadana Karaka Nimitthena Vrikshya Shabdha Se Panchami Vibhakti. The word Vriksha is getting Panchami Vibhakti because it is an Apadana Karaka. Apadane Panchami Iti Sutra. Karaka Nimitpatvena Pravattaya Aha Vibhakti Hai Karaka Vibhakti Hi Iti Nama. So wherever a Vibhakti is set based on the Karaka, it is called Karaka Vibhakti. But very important, it is not the only kind. Karaka is not the only reason or the only uh, means of getting a vibhakti. There are different cases where vibhakti can be assigned. Okay, there are different reasons. Karaka is one of them and probably the most important, but there are others. So if you can see the second nimitta for vibhakti pravrati is upapatta. So vishishtanam padanam athena yoga api vishishta vibhakti. So depending on a particular word which is present nearby, there is upapada, so that which is close. Padasya samipam upapadam, so close to a word. So if there is a word, another word which is associated, another word is not a kriya, some other namapada. So based on that we have vibhaktis. So that is Ramayana saha sita vanam gachati. Now sita vanam gachati. Ramena Saha. So because of Sahashabdartha, Sahashabdarthena Yoga, Rama Shabda Sitya Bhakti. Sahayuktya Pradhane. Very popular. We have Kritiya on Rama, not because it is a karaka, but because it is associated with the word Saha. Okay. So the Bhakti here is based on Upapada, the presence of the word Saha. So this is Upapada Bhakti. Dramat Bahihi Aranyam Vidyate. So Bahihi Yoga, we have Panchami. Because there is Bahihi, we have Panchami on Drama. So these are all cases which is called Upapada Vibhakti. Where Vibhakti is assigned based on a word which is present close to it. Not based on the Karaka, but with the word uh, Astus. There is also one more. Rati Padikartha and others. For Prathama Vibhakti, it is not a Karaka, which is the Mula, Pratipadikartha, it is the meaning of a Pratipadikartha. This is what we will see in the actual Karaka Prakarana. So based on the Pratipadikartha, we have Ramaha. So Rama, it is Pratipadikasya Yahartha, Tasminneva Arthe Vibhakti. Vibhakti is not conveying any special or added meaning. It occurs in Pratipadikartha. Sambodhanam. So, even Sambodhana can be a nimitta for Pratama Vibhakti, addressing somebody, Hey Rama. So, the Vibhakti is because of Sambodhana. There is also a few other cases, Linga, Parimana, Vasana. So, there are some such things which can lead to particular Vibhakti, Prati Padikartha. Sambandha, the relation between nouns. Shashti Vibhakti is mostly the Vibhakti where Saswami Bhavadihi Sambandhaha particular relation between nouns can be the reason or the nimitta for a particular vibhakti. Ragyaha dutaha. So the messenger of the kings where uh, duta is a swa and raja is a swami. So there is a relation which is called the swa swami bhava. Okay. So that is one kind. Brahmana seputraha. We have janya janaka bhava. So, Janaka is the Brahmana and Putra is the Janya. So, this is again a relation between the nouns. So, in case of all such Sambandha, based on the Sambandha, there can be Vibhakti being told. And there is one more Nimitta which is called Karma Pravachaniya. 
So, karma pravachini is again a samyam, it is defined by Pandini. So, kriya nirupita sambandha vishesha. It is a special kind of sambandha which is based on the kriya. Okay. So, so this karma pravachini is samyam, which we will study again in the karaka prakarna. So, this samya can also be the nimitta for vibhaktis like dhitiya, panchami and saptam. Pajanyaha japamanu pravarshate. So there was rain soon after the japa. There was a Pajanya japa and uh, soon after there was rain. So there is anu, okay. so it is used there which has that karma pravasaniya samya. So because of that karma pravasaniya, the japa, the word japa gets vitiya vipakti. Because it is associated with karma pravasaniya. Karma pravasaniya yukte vitiya hi sutram. So there is karma pravachaniya samya based on this. Uh, there is a vibhakti based on karma pravachaniya samya. So this is actually uh, a subtype of upapada vibhakti because there is a particular word. If there is a word having karma pravachaniya, there is a vibhakti. So this is a kind of upapada vibhakti. But uh, since it is a separate set which is defined separately, so if you look at the different kinds which can lead to vibhaktis. So vibhakti nam pravrattam pancha nimittani sambhavanti. So there is karaka which is giving karaka vibhakti. So dhitiya, pradhiya, chaturthi, panchami, saptami. These are karaka vibhakti. Pachit shashti api. Even shashti can be a karaka vibhakti in some cases. So we normally say shashti is not a karaka vibhakti. That is not actually correct. There is a case where he says karta karma no hukriti. So the karta and the karma get shishti vibhakti in some cases. So all these six can be karaka vibhaktis. But it is not the main vibhakti of any karaka. Okay? Shishti is not the main vibhakti assigned to any karaka. But it is can be a karaka vibhakti in some cases. Upapadam. So based on upapadam we have upapada vibhakti. So which can be for Again, Dhritiya, Dhritiya, Jatukti, Panchami, Sapkami and Shashti uh, also in some cases can be an Upapadamitha. Pratipadikartha. So Pratipadikartha and Sambodhana are Nimittas for Pratma Vibhakti. Sambandha. So, Shashti Vibhakti is mostly based on Sambandha. Karma Pratiniya. So we have Dhritiya, Panchami and Saptami Vibhaktis which have been assigned based on Karma Pravachaniya. So there are different kinds of Vibhakti. So Vibhakti is different from Karaka. So what are we studying in this Prakarana? So if you see in the Ashtadhyayi, both Karaka and Vibhakti, there are two separate series. So the Karaka series starts with the Karake, which is an Adhikara, starting from 1423. Jayasya, Chaturtha Pade, Prayovim Shilakamam Sutram Karake, iti, Tadarabhya, Tadprayoda Kohe Tushcha, iti, Tasseva Padasya, Panchapancha Shuttamam Sutram. So till then, so there is probably some 30 sutras which deal with Karakas and the order is he deals, he defines Apadana, Sampradana, Karana, Adhikarana, Karma, Karta. That is his order. It is not very fixed. That is, uh, say, he says Adhar Odhi Karanam. He says Adhara gets Adhikarana. And then immediately he says Adhishin Sthasam Karma. For Adhishin and As, the Adhara itself will be the Karma. So how Pandini defines it is based on his Siddhanta. He has his uh, Anuvratti and Adhikara and so on. So based on this he defines the Karaka. So if you go by the order, you will say you have Adhikarana, then you have Karma Karaka and something else. So on. He defines that it in the Utsarga Apavada manner. Again if you come to Vibhaktis, it starts with the Anivhita Adhikara. Anabhihite is the first sutra of the third part of the second chapter. Right? And that Adhikara pervades the entire Pada. So from 231 to the last sutra of that pada, this is 2373, we have the Anabhihita huh? And all other kinds of vibhaktis, I mean all vibhaktis, whether it is a Karaka vibhakti, Upapada vibhakti, Karma Pravachaniya, all vibhaktis are defined in this particular pada. Okay? 
So again, the order is yes, Dvitiya, then Chaturthi, Dvitiya, Panchami, Dvitiya, Pratmashashti is the rough order. But again, when he defends Chaturthi as an Apavada, he may bring in Shashti and so on. So that is how the Karakas and Vibhaktis are there in the Ashtadhyayi. Whereas in the Kaumudi, in the Karaka Prakarana, it should actually be Vibhakti Prakarana because it is not only the Karakas that he is dealing with. But since Karaka is the main kind where he also says Karaka and then says Vibhakti is based on it, he is called it Karaka Prakarana. So the, but the Vibhakti, the order of Sutras is based on the Vibhakti. Vibhakti na sarena Sutrani Nivardhani. So first is the Prathama Vibhakti where again you don't have a Karaka at all. It starts with Prathama Vibhakti, what is the Nimitta? There is one sutra, Pratipati Karthaninga Parimana Vachana Matre Prathama. So he uh, uh, deals with that, he explains that and Sambodhana. So he does Prathama Bhakti. So then from Vritiya to Panchami, so you have Vritiya, Tatiya, Chaturthi, Panchami. So initially you have Karaka Vibhakti. So in all cases he defines the Karaka for that particular Vibhakti. He gives the Karaka Vibhakti and then he moves on to the Upada Vibhakti for that particular Vibhakti. See? Then in Shashti, initially you have the Shesha Shashti, which is the Sambandha Shashti, Shashti based on Sambandha, and then the Karaka Shashti, where Shashti is given for Karakas. Again in Saptami, you have the Karaka Vibhakti and Upada Vibhakti. Okay? So, this is how the uh, Karaka Prakarana has been arranged in the Siddhanta Kaumudi and that is how any questions? Uh, why was Pratama Vibhakti excluded from the Karaka Vibhakti list on the slide? Because Pratama Vibhakti is not a Karaka Vibhakti. That is, Pratama Vibhakti has not been given for any particular Karaka. I mean, there is the general thing that Kartrakaraka has Pratama Vibhakti, but as we will see there, Kartrakaraka, the Vibhakti for Kartrakaraka is actually Tritiya. Okay. So, but when we have, that is where this Anabhihita comes in. Uh, we saw the Adhikara. It is Abhihita. That is there, the Kartrakaraka has already been told by the Kriyapada. When we are saying he Pathati, so the thing, Saha Pathati, the Karta has already been told by the Kriyapada and therefore we have Prathama in Pratiparika. So that is what we will see, it will be clear. But Prathama is not a Karaka Vibhakti. Okay. So Prathama is not, and uh, Shashti is not a main Karaka Unmuted. But it is a Karaka Vibhakti. Any other questions? So Swamiji, generally it says that thing is in Samadhani, uh, uh, Samanadhikarna with uh, Prathama. Thing so, Samanadhikarna, yes. So, uh, so <laughs> that's why Anahabhite is for all the other Karakas. Yes. Samana Adhikarana. Samana Adhikarana. It is always whatever is the thing, Adhikarana of the thing, whether it is Karta or Kaurma, the Prasama will tell the same thing. That's right. That is what we will see. No questions. There is one more small part of this introduction which we have to know. We have so seen how Karaka is Kriyanvayi or Kriyajanakam. So it is always associated with the Kriya. So there are a few things about Kriya Padas which we need to know before we move on into that. Muted. So, what is a Kriyapada? A word which shows Kriya, that is our action. Vakya Kriyapada se Pradhanyam. Again, this is also another thing which is a point of debate between the different Shastras. Mimamsa, Nyaya and Vyakara. So, they define, differ in the this. According to Vyakaranas, Kriyapada, the Pinganta is the Pradhana, we call it as the, uh, what we call the Shabda Bodha, that is how meaning is uh, conveyed. So according to Vayakarana, it is Sting Pradhana, that is the Vyapara or the action is the main thing and everything else is associated with action. So if you go to Tarkikas, they say it is uh, Kartra Pradhana, if you go to Mimamsakas, they say Bhavana Pradhana and so on. But so, Vayakarana Mate, Kriyapada Seva Pradhanyam. 
So what is a Kriyapada? By Kriyapada here I mean a Tingarita. Okay. So Tingarita, like Subanta, Subtingantam Padam. There is Subanta and there is Tinganta. So Tinganta is made of a Dhatu and an Akhyata Pratyaya. Akhyata is, the Ting Pratyaya is also called Akhyata Pratyaya. There could also be a Vikarana Pratyaya in between. So there is Dhatu and there is Akhyata. Uh, so together they make up the Tinganta. And this is the key part of a sentence. As we see, even a sentence we define as eka thing vakyam. Even if there is just one thing anta. A sentence should have a thing anta to be considered a part. So as you can see, in a kriyapada, leave the vikarana. Vikarana does not have any artha for itself. There is dhatu and there is a pratyaya which convey different meanings. So have the dhatu. Who are the Yodhatavaha? I already studied. There are about 2000 dhatu starting with who? So, dhatu nam kaha arthaha. What does a dhatu convey? Dhatu arthaha kaha. So, who are the Yodhatavaha? It is Utrena. Vadi nam upad visahastam shabda sarupana. Nearly 2000. Dhatu samya vidita. Etesham sarvesham dhatu nam arthadvayam. So each of these dhatus will convey two meanings. One is a phala and the other is vyapara. Vyapara is nothing but a kriya. It indicates an action. In addition, phalam kriya jayamana parimanamaha. What is the fruit? Well, that is how we the fruit of action. So what is what is it that the action achieves is called a phala. So both of these are conveyed by a dhatu. Phala vyapara yor dhatu hu. So a dhatu conveys the sense of the action involved and the phala. Say for example, pacha dhatu hu pachati isti. Kahar thaha paka kriya, the action of cooking, viklitti hi. Viklitti is, the, say if you have rice which is cooked, the property of being cooked, that is where it has become soft, it has become expanded, that is called vikliti. Okay. So, paka is the vyapara or the action and vikliti kanduladi nam rudu bhavanam. So, you have rice which is uncooked and cooked, what is the difference? That is what has been achieved by the kriya. Right? So, the fruit of vikledana kriya or the paka kriya is to achieve that vikliti. Okay. So, that is the phala of the action, pākaha vyāpāraha phalam viklittihi. So, pachadhātau ho. So, the dhātu is viklittya nukūlaha vyāpāraha. So, when we are, when it is asked what is the meaning of pachadhātu, we say it is a vyāpāra, a kriya which facilitates viklitti. So, viklittya nukūlaha vyāpāraha pachadhātau rathaha. So, again you have gamadhātu ho, gachati. Gamana Kriya Uttara Desha Sanyoga. So the action of moving, whether it is by walking or uh, vehicle or whatever, that is the action. And what is achieved by the action? Uttara Desha Sanyoga. You reach a different place. So you walk two steps and you different, whether it is somewhere here or a different village or a different nation. So there is some Uttara Desha you are associated with that. You leave this place, the place where you started with and you reach something else. That is when it is called Gamana. So Gamana is the Vyapara, the action of movement. And Uttaradesha Sayogaha, Phalam, the fruit of that action, the Phala is reaching a different place. So Gamadha Toho Kahartaha, Uttaradesha Sayoga Anukulaha Vyaparaha, an action which brings about association with a different place. Uttara Desha is called Gam. That is what is conveyed by the Dhatu, Gam Dhatu. Vardhate, so you have that which grows. Vardhana Anukulaha Vyaparaha. So you have Vardhanam which is growing. So you have a small tree and it becomes a big tree. So you can see the effect. So it increases in size, say length, width and it matures and so on. So that is the Phala and the action which uh, facilitates that is that. So both does, both of those are given by the dhatu. So khadati, dalavila sanyogana kolaha vyaparaha. So 
Sathadati is a vyapara, an action which facilitates something to go into your galavila. Galavila is the uh, throat or the esophagus, what we call in normal terms, which goes inside the gala. Gala is the throat and vila is the hole. The hole is the throat. Gala vila sanyoga anukula ha vyapara ha khaladhato ho arthaha. So bhavati, what is bhavati? Satta anukula ha vyapara ha. Satta is existence. So an action which enables something to exist. So you know, I mean, even when something is there, it needs to, there is some vyapara internal action which is going on which enables it to stay that way. Right. So that is bhavati. Satta anukula ha vyapara ha. Pathati. So to read, vasana anukula ha vyapara ha. So make something be heard. Patha vyaktayam vachi. That which is heard loudly is pathati. So that is patha. Bhajati. So, Preetyanukulaha Vyaparaha, that which so brings about Preeti in say Harim Bhajati, so on, Preetyanukulaha Vyaparaha. So, these are how say every Dhatu, Patati, Adhodesha Sanyoga Anukulaha Vyaparaha. So, that which makes you associated with the uh, place which is down, so below you, that is Patati. So that way, either dhatus can be defined in this way. So, what is the purpose in defining in this way? Is to know the sakarmaka, akarmaka, vibhara. So, what is sakarmaka and what is akarmaka? So, at the initial level, we say, we ask the question, kim. If we have an answer, it is sakarmaka and akarmaka, and so on, which is correct at the initial level. But how it is defined actually is, so yatra dhato hu phalam vyaparashta bhinnesha padartheshu bhavataha vayyadhikaranyam phala vyapara vayyadhikaranyam sakarma kattva where the phala and vyapara are seen in different things it is a sakarma kattva for example pacha kaha tandulam pachati we saw pacha dhato hu kaha arthaha viklitya nukulaha vyaparaha a vyapara an action which facilitates a viklitya is pacha dhato now, the kriya or the action of cooking is seen in the pachaka, he who cooks. Whereas the fruit, the phala of this, which is vikliti, is seen in rice, tandule. So, vyaparaha pachake asti, phalam tandule asti. Ataha pachadhatuhu sakarmakaha. It is sakarmaka because the vyapara and the phala, there is vayadhikaranya. It is seen the adhikarana of vyapara and phala is different. Therefore, Pachadhatu is defined as Sakarmaka. Bhaktaha Harim Bhajati. So, Bhajadhatu, Kaharthaha, Preetyanukulaha Vyaparaha. Uh, action which pleases somebody is Bhajati. So, Bhajana Kriya, that is the action of Bhajana, is in Bhakta. Bhajana Kriya Bhakti Bhavati, Preetihi, whereas the pleasure or uh, being uh, pleased by it is Hari. It is Hari who is pleased. So, Preet is to Harau Jayate. So, Hari is the Adhikarana for Phala, whereas Bhakta is the Adhikarana for Vyapara. So, where there is Vyapara and Phala are seen in different things, it is Sakarmaka. So, Bhajadhatu is also Sakarmaka. So, Yatra Dhato Hu Phalam Vyaparasta Ekasmin Neva Padarthe. So where the bhala and vyapara, there is samanadhikaranya. They are seen in the same thing. It is an akarmakadhatu. Say, sasyam vardhate. So vardhate, vardhananukulaha vyapara. There is an action which uh, facilitates it to grow. And there is the effect of growing. So both of these are seen in the plant itself. So vardhanam, so the plant grows. The action which assists <coughs> growth. And the effect of that growth is both seen in the sasya itself. Therefore, it is an akarmakadhatu. There is not something else which is involved in the kriya. So, pustakam bhavati. So, there is a book. So, sattanakula vyapara is what we call the pudhato arthaha. So, the satta that is the existence and that which makes the book exist, the vyapara which is required for it to exist is both in the book itself. So, there is no there are no two things where the phala and vyapara are divided. And therefore, it is an akarmaka dhatu. Jivati. So, pranadharana anukulaha vyaparaha. 
So we have uh, pranadharana. So this is where you can see clearly. Pranadharana is to hold the life. The and the action which all the actions which facilitate holding that life is what is called, makes it jivati. So the prana, prana dharanam. So the life or holding the life is in that prani, and the vyapara everything, say the heart beat, heat beating, and all the systems working which enable it to live is also in the prani. So therefore, jivati is akarmaka. So we saw what is dhatvartha and based on the uh, phala and vyapara we have the dhatu being sakarmaka or akarmaka. Where we come to the king artha. As I said the kriyapada has two parts. There is a dhatu and there is thing. Dhatu kaartha ityavagata. That is the thing which is there. So thing dhatu kaartha. Pachati, pachate. So you have three, three. there are 18 thing pratyas. Tittas, tittas, tamibbasmas, tatam, chathasa, thaun, thaum, idrahi, mahin, which we will see in the Dashagandhi. So there are 18 thing pratyas. What do these pratyas convey? So the thing prateya conveys the sense of karaka or bhava, kala and sankhya. Okay. So if you see, pachakaha odanam pachati. So where you have the pi pratyaya, it is conveying the kartrakaraka. It tells the karta, pachati ityanena, prathama purushaha, that it is some other karta. If you have pachasi, it says it is yushmad is the karta. If it is pachami, it says asmad, aham is the karta. So it indicates the karta. It also indicates vartamana kala, the tense, and ekavachana. So all these three, karaka, kala, sankhya. So all these are indicated by the thing pratyaya. Okay, it is showing the karta, the kala and the sankhya. Since it indicates karta, that is why we call this a kartari prayoga because the thing pratyaya is uh, indicating the karta. Karta bodhyate ityateva ayam kartari prayoga. Whereas you have kachakena tandulaha pachyante, so pachyate or pachyante here, Pratyaya G. So it is showing Karmakaraka. Tandulaha Pachyante. It is indicating the Karmakaraka. Again, Vartamana Kala and Bahuvachar. Okay, since it is Pachyante, it is still Atlakara, Vartamana Kala. And it is showing Bahuvachana and Karmakaraka. Because it tells, the thing tells Karmakaraka, we have it as Karmani Prayoga. So again, this is why you have what uh, originally mentioned then, thing samanadhi karanaha prathama. So you have the thing is telling karta and the word pachaka is also telling the karta. So whatever is samanadhi karana with thing will have prathama vibhakti. Okay. So here also pachakena, the, here tandulaha pachyante, the thing is giving karma and the karma is tandula. So that will have prathama and the kartrapada has tritiya. So this is the basis of the Abhihita and Abhihita. What is told by the Abhihita? Thing. Thing pratyena kim Abhihitam. Pachati ityatra thinga karta Abhihitaha. Whereas pachyante ityatra karma Abhihitam. Okay. So remember this concept. We will visit this again under the Adhikara. But it is very very important. The thing pratyaya in all kartari prayogas. The thing pratyaya tells the karta. It gives the karta. It is already telling the meaning of karta. Whereas in karmani prayoga it gives the sense of karma karaka. So thing pratyena karakam uchyate, kalaha uchyate, sankhya uchyate, bhavaha, maya abhuyata. So this is what we call a bhave prayoga. Why do we call it bhave? Patrate pratyena bhavaha bhuta kalaha. So it tells bhava and bhuta kala. So as we said, karaka or bhava, kala and sankhya is what is given by the thing. So bhava, since it gives bhava, we call it as bhave prayoga. What is bhava? Bhavo nama dhatvarthaha. Bhava is nothing but dhatvartha. As we already saw, the action and phala is dhatvartha. So in abhoyata, there is nothing in additional to bhava which is told. Dhatvartha bhinnaha vishishtarthaha pratyasya nasti. If it is 
bhavati it uh, along with the dhatvartha it also gives the karta but in abhuyata it will not give the karta it will give only the bhava yaha dhatvartha satanakulaha vyaparaha saeva prateyana api pratiyate vishishtaha arthaha nasti ata eva ayam bhave prayogaha iti uchyate so here bhava is being told by the thing the sense uh, the karta is not being uh, told by thing it gets pratiya okay that is again the part where we see in karaka <coughs> yes shete there also shete is also an akarmaka dhatu again so there also bhava so for all akarmaka dhatus the prayoga will be kartari or bhave so maya ashayata ityukte tatra shayana anukulaha vyaparaha eva bodhyate natu karta so that is bhava so tingartha can be karaka bhava kala and sankhya so dhatvarthasya kriyaya sarvada ekatva so since it tells the kriya and since kriya is always one bhave prayoge vachana bodhaha na bhavati there are no different vachanas in bhave prayoga it is always eka vachana because it is telling kriya and kriya is always one okay. so that is uh, something which is a prelude to know about the kriya pada because we associate all karakas with kriya pada so to know something about the kriya pada what is the dhatvartha what is tingartha we'll use these concepts later on in the prakarana and we'll start with the actual karaka prakarana as per the kaumudi tomorrow any questions मीनाक्षर सामनाय महेश्वरा तत्सम व्याकरण प्रोत्तम तस्मी पाणिनये नम ओके Uh, yes, there is a review, but we'll do it tomorrow before the beginning of tomorrow's class. I wanted to do it today, but uh, we overshoot the time a lot, so we'll do a review tomorrow. So the uh, slides it will be available. It will be put up in Vyama Samskrita Pathashala and also in JGSSLessons. dot org. So if you have uh, put it in, uh, just you'll get these slides. The slides and audio will both be uploaded. Uh, you can access this list just like you used to have the MA notes and the audio you can also have. The organ